just a quick uh, first question. We you've you've talked about and we've noticed when we've been looking back at the games that you've played in uh, your athleticism um, on the pitch and defence. What attributes do you feel you're bringing specifically to this squad? And are you starting to gain an understanding of your role within the team? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, it was kind of a tough start. I came in and had a couple injuries I needed to get over. Um, but now I feel like as I've gotten past those, I've been able to like gain confidence and just gain like a lot more um, like cohesiveness with like my team, like teammates around me and stuff. And I think that, yeah, I think I bring athleticism and hopefully that can help like play out of the back and just kind of things like that. Um, and as I get more like integrated with the team, it gets a little bit easier. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you scored your first Celtic goal um, as a defender. That must feel good to have that on the score sheet. And is scoring from set pieces something that you're working on in training? Is that something you'd like to do more of? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Yes. As a defender, I that's like something you dream of. And so it is something that I'm working on and I couldn't have asked for an easier ball in. Shen just laid it right up for me. I just kind of in the right place. But um, yeah, it's definitely something that I'm working on. Great. Um, how do you pick yourself up after, I think everyone agreed it was a disappointing result against Spartans. Um, and we're going into a run of really important fixtures. We've got two fixtures against Rangers with hearts in the middle. H how do you kind of psychologically kind of get over a result like that and move on? Yeah, um, I think, yeah, everybody was a little bit disappointed after that game. I think dropping a couple of points there um, was tough, obviously, but I think we've bounced back well as a team and I think that we have a good enough mentality to like sometimes like that happens it's it's the game and you hit setbacks and you kind of just have to be able to take it learn from it and then like move on and carry on with it and I think that we've in implemented a lot of things that um will help us in kind of where we messed up in that game I think we've we've learned from it and can take that into this weekend yeah absolutely yeah. um do you kind of have an understanding at this point of the pressure, extra pressure going into the Derby games against Rangers? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I've heard it from the day that I got here. And so I've been really excited to see, to see what it's about. Yeah. With the Derby. I can't wait. Great. One more just for me. Um, when you're kind of on the pitch, this squad is kind of like, there's quite a number of new players. It's a squad that's kind of forming and, and finding its feet a little bit still, I think. Um, Obviously, Kelly's the captain. Who are the when you're under the under pressure, like you have been a few times this season, um, and kind of looking to turn things around? Who are the leaders that you're looking to on the pitch out with maybe the obvious ones like Kelly Clark? Right. Um, yeah, I think obviously you look to Kelly. She's been here for so long and is a great leader and captain. And so she's definitely one of the ones that we look to. Same thing with Craigie. I think any of the older players that can kind of bring experience because um, it is like partly older and like a pretty young squad as well. So I think, yeah, any of the experienced ones that can kind of come in and step in and like speak up helps a lot. And that's something that like I hopefully can like have that role as well, um, being kind of I'm kind of right in the middle. Um, but I think, yeah, I think it's something that there's like quite a few older ones that we can look up to. Yeah, sure. that's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good luck for the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> Just really, I'd like to know how the squad um, reacted um, to the draw against Spartans. Obviously, it was a, a frustrating afternoon for you. Um, and how do you process that and how do you get ready to go again? Yeah, I think everybody was definitely frustrated. It was a frustrating game. Um I think it's one of those things that it just kind of it happens in the game. And um, yeah, we just kind of had to look back at it and see what we did wrong and learn from that and then try to implement that into the next game moving forward. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things you got to learn from. A positive is obviously we got the equalizer deep right, into right. stoppage time and we actually could have won that as well. We yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It was a great response. It was a great response. It's obviously tough being down 2-0. Um, but I think, yeah, we had the mentality to come back and we could have won it. And it, it was just kind of one of those things. I think we hit the post two or three times. And sometimes it goes like that. 
And yeah, it's just something that you got to keep fighting through. But this team has a lot of fight in them. So it was nice to see and to get at least the point in the end. Um, Spartans obviously did their homework on Celtic. They'd lost heavily to um, the Rangers and to Glasgow. Um, and obviously for the weekend, um, Rangers are going to be doing the same. So are we looking at um, anything different in terms of defending? Um, no, I don't think it's a lot of... I think it's just something that we're focusing on us. And obviously there are things that we're trying to implement to help us be successful. But I think at the same time, like we have a system that works well. And so it's just sticking with what we do well and yeah, and hoping for the result. And the Celtic fans call it a beautiful Sunday when we win these games and you've got a chance to have two beautiful Sundays in a row. So you're looking forward to that? Yes, yes. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, the, 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 big, the Celtic fans are not going to be allowed to attend the, right. the first game anyway, but there'll be a big audience watching you, cheering you on. So just be yeah. aware of that. Be aware yeah, of yeah. It. It'll be great. I can't wait. And good luck for yeah, the weekend. Yeah. Thank you.